Hi guys, today I am back to talk about some of my favorite hair products. Um, as you guys can see, I did get my ombre done. Um, it is not quite as light as me or my stylist had discussed going, but for the kind of the integrity of my hair, this is the lightest we could go. Um, because I was using some products that I thought were making a difference with my hair, and it turns out they weren't actually doing much of anything. Um, your hair is made up of keratin, and I did not have that much in my hair, and my stylist... I was using the Redken Anti-Snap, and I had mentioned that to my stylist, and she was like, yeah, I don't really feel like that does a whole lot. So she recommended I try the Redken Strength Builder Plus, which is like their once a week mask, and then Redken actually just launched a split end sealer and like also like a primer product for their Extreme line, which is the protein based line. So um, I'm going to try that stuff out, but I don't, I don't know if that stuff's good or not. I haven't tried it yet. I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, that is something that my stylist recommended using. Um, this is not definitely, I feel like, the end result. Like, definitely going to go lighter with it. But I need to work on getting my hair definitely healthier. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started with leave-ins because I feel like those are definitely the most important thing. Um, these are mostly styling products. I don't really have shampoo and conditioners in here, but I am going to talk about them just a little bit. So, I am going to start with styling products and leave-ins kind of first and foremost. So this is actually one that my stylist gave me. It is the Wella Luxe Oil Keratin Boost Leave-In Conditioning Spray. This, you're gonna spray it in your hair and it's not gonna make it feel super silky and nice and super soft, but it puts keratin in your hair and it does, I think, help with breakage. I feel like I've noticed a lot less breakage in my hair since I've used this and I've only been using it for a couple of weeks. So I really, really like it. Not to mention it smells, I'm gonna try to describe it. I always want to say it smells like fruity jello, but it smells a little bit, <laughs> it smells nicer than that. I just can't explain it. Kind of fruity, and I would say maybe even just a little bit florally. It smells really, really nice though, so I love the smell of it. And this does, like I said, help with breakage, and it has keratin in it, so that's nice. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know, that just came out of nowhere. This other one I really like is the Aveeno Nourish Plus Condition Leave-In Treatment. This is with Nourishing Wheat Complex. It says it's new. Um, I feel like we've had it in our back room forever. Because my particular Alda does not have a place for this on this like sales floor. So we just keep it in our back because there's no place to put it. And I bought this because I was looking for kind of a cheap leave-in. I don't know why. I was just constantly playing with hair stuff too as well as makeup. So I'm like looking for something new. And I bought this. First time I used it, I went a little too heavy handed. And it made my hair a little flat. But holy cow, was my hair soft and like super easy to brush through. It was just, it was really nice. Um, whether this actually does a lot for the health of your hair though, I don't really know yet. Um, because I've only used it a couple of times, but I really like that it made my hair super soft. And it did help with like kind of the manageability of it. So I do like it for that. Um, trying to see if it does say anything about... Hair is instantly revitalized and scientific studies show that just three uses help repair a dry, damaged hair. Um, and then it just goes into the nourishing wheat complex. So it's supposed to replenish moisture as it zeroes in on the weakest part of hair, fortifying the hair shaft with protein where it needs it most. So, I guess we'll kind of see... I'll try to like give you guys more of an update on this on whether it actually helps with the health of my hair or whether it just helps with like the manageability of it. But I do like this a couple of times that I have got to use it. Um, for my last like leave-in conditioner thing, this is my Nevo, or Pravana Nevo Intense Therapy Leave-In Treatment. Mine looks like it's full, but I actually got a little sample of this before and used it up and purchased the full size. I This is my holy girl leave-in. It does not have protein in it, it's just for moisture, but holy cow, this thing is amazing. Um, it is 100% biodegradable, 100% vegan, 100% gluten-free, and then it says 5% to fight cancer. And I'm going to read this little tag too, too, because I feel like this does particular things for your hair that other leave-ins don't do. Um, so I feel like the first couple ones are obviously things that most leave-ins do, but it instantly detangles provides deep hydration, it equalizes your hair porosity. Um, porosity is how your hair absorbs something. Um, for example, if you have very porous hair, your, ten, your hair will tend to really suck up the color. 
but it also seems like it really lets it go like it just doesn't hold it so it helps with porosity um, protects during thermal styling it helps repair split ends protects hair color gives hair shine eliminates effects of static electricity and then this is where things start to get a little more interesting with what it does um, it helps soothe irritated skin it's an effective pre-color treatment. It, effect in, it loosens the effects of chlorine, and it's a hair cutting lotion for salon stylist. So it does kind of everything your typical leave-in conditioner does, but it kind of does more. Um, I really like that it says it helps soothe irritated skin because I have had dandruff this last winter. Um, it seems to be gone now. I don't really know exactly why. It could be this, and I'm also thinking it's probably the shampoo that I'm using with it. Um, but I really, really love this. And if you can get your hands on this, I know they sell this at Ulta. That is where I got mine and I love it. So that is kind of it for like leave-in conditioners. Um, cause the rest are kind of more styling product targeted, but the first one is this living proof prime style extender. This is good. This is really, really good. Um, I remember, I think this is kind of the first like primer for hair that I saw and it says it's, mm -hmm, let me see. Oh, they have a definition of prime on here. I was like gonna tell you what it does. But basically, it kind of helps maintain any style that your hair has. But this also for me, it just makes my hair super, super soft. It makes it look like I just left the hair salon. Like I have like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like I never blow, I don't blow dry my hair. I just don't do that for, to save it the extra heat styling, I let it air dry and then I usually style it with a little bit of styling tools as is. Um, Cause my hair is very straight. So today all I did was straighten the ends um, from like here down. That's all I did. So I don't even touch this up here most of the time. So I literally just let my hair air dry and go. But if I do this, I have a lot of nice volume. I have a lot of shine. My hair is super soft and it seriously looks like I got a blowout at the salon and my hair is just awesome looking. So I really, really love this. Um, I just feel like it does a lot for your hair. And like I said, if any time that I can look and feel like I just left the salon with like freshly blow dried clean hair, it's, it's kind of a nice feeling. So um, this one is a product that is really weird to me and it's a new favorite and it's something that I really actually hated to begin with, but it is the Sebastian Potion 9 Wearable Styling Treatment. Um, I bought a little set at Ulta that had the Sebastian Penetrate Shampoo Conditioner and then it came with this and I thought that this was like their leave-in conditioner and it might be but I don't think it does anything conditioning wise. Um, it just says it's an ultimate versatile styling cream to style your hair into multiple looks with flexible hold. So I thought that this was supposed to like provide some nourishment for my hair or something and it didn't do anything. But like I said, my hair is stick straight. I pretty much wake up with it like this and then I just kind of get the ends kind of going inward because every once in a while, you know, it'll be an end that's like flipping out or doing something weird. So I usually just kind of straighten the ends. But if I put this in my hair and it's wet and I wake up, I have waves. How exactly? I don't know that happens. I'm assuming it's the flexible hold and then just kind of sleeping on my hair wet. But even if I've, I'm up for the day, like I took a shower in the morning, the ends of my hair will have some wave and some texture to it. It's really, really interesting. Um, and I've really kind of grown to like this because it does give me waves. I remember the other day I woke up and I mean, my hair was like wavy from like here down, but it was really pretty looking. I didn't have to do anything. I brushed my hair and I laughed and it looked decent. So I'm like kind of enjoying this because if it makes my hair look nice and I still don't have to put a lot of effort in, then I'm kind of I'm for that. But that is something new. Um, I have seen that before on Pinterest that people have said that it's done that. So I don't know. I didn't really believe into it and I didn't obviously purposely buy it. I just bought it with a set and I actually did buy another one of these because I kind of want to test it out some more. So this is kind of another like put in your hair when it's wet type of product, but it is the living proof frizz nourishing styling cream. And this too, I actually got in a set with the shampoo and conditioner from the Frizz line. I just wanted to try some Living Proof products. Um, I wasn't really looking for anything specific. I don't generally have Frizz, but it was in like in a little $10 set. And normally if you buy the Living Proof sets, they're $29. So this one for $10, I felt like wasn't too bad. Um, I think the $10 set had like one ounce sizes, whereas the $29 sets are two ounce sizes. 
So it was still a much better deal to do this $10 set than to buy the $29 set. But anyways, this is not something I thought I was going to like. I thought it was going to be too heavy. And it is a little heavy for my hair, but holy cow, this makes my hair feel, look so much healthier. Um, because I <laughs> wore this for the consultation with my stylist to talk about getting the ombre. And it was just a 15 minute appointment about a week before we actually did my hair. And she's like, your hair feels so nice and healthy and soft. And I had this in. Um, so I kind of, I think, maybe tricked her and she thought that my hair was in a lot better shape than it was because then as we started to bleach it, she's like, yeah, it's just really kind of fragile at the moment. So probably shouldn't do too much else, you know, go too much lighter with it. But this product I think is kind of good for, you know, just making your hair look and feel really healthy. I'm not expecting it to make my hair healthy, but it makes it look and feel really nice. So this is kind of along that same lines. It is the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. Um, this is like the Susan G. Komen breast cancer one. And I don't know if you guys can kind of see, I have used quite a bit of this. Um, I don't know. This is another product that just makes your hair look and feel super soft. It's a lot like an oil kind of thing. Um, you know, like I feel like we're all used to what the hair oils do. They add shine, make your hair smell nice, makes it super smooth. Um, it does say it conditions. I don't, I don't know if it necessarily conditions in my opinion, but like I said, it definitely makes my hair really soft and I don't know, it's just one of those products I kind of fall in and out of love with. I use it for like three weeks straight, then I take a break and come back to it at some point, but I've, I really do love this one. So, so next one, I like to call this my fake it till I make it product and it does actually help, I think. It is the Macadamia Natural Oil Healing Oil Treatment. Um, I was not super big on hair oils when they came out because my hair is super oily and I was kind of like, eh, why do I want to put oil in it when I'm having a problem with oil? But this is a product that I've really grown to like from getting, like, I think I got a sample of it and I just, I've bought it ever since. Um, the reason I call this my fake it till I make it product is there have been several times in my life where my hair has been more damaged than it is now. And I mean, it was completely just fried and really, really, really bad. And the reason I called this my fake it till I make it product is because this makes my hair look, look super, super healthy. It adds so much shine. It's so soft. It smells awesome. So it, yeah, it's a lot like the last two that I just mentioned, but it actually does moisturize my hair kind of like the other two don't, I don't think they really moisturize. Um, this one I feel like actually does moisturize and this is one product that I keep using when I feel like my hair is not in great shape um, because I feel like it helps it get in better shape. So this I feel like really does moisturize my hair. Um, the deep repair mask from them I tried and I didn't feel like it really did a whole lot. So the actual oil I really really like um, and I think I like it a lot more because it actually sits on my hair all day so it's sitting there moisturizing it all day whereas the mask you know you leave it on for 5-10 minutes and then you rinse it out. So I don't know I do like this. Um, I, like I said I don't blow dry my hair but there are claims that if you put an oil in your hair it does help your hair blow dry faster. So that is something kind of nice. And then these next two are more styling product things. They don't really do anything for making my hair feel nice or look nice. Well, they make my hair look nice, but they don't help with it making it feel nice. Um, so this is the Bedhead Small Talk Thickifier Energizer and Stylizer. When I read that, I really did not know what that exactly meant. Um, and to be honest, I kind of still don't know what some of it means. But this is a product too that I was just kind of like, I don't know if I'm going to like this. But it smells like grape candy. It smells so good. And again, I have to smell it. It smells so good. It does dry out my hair a little bit, but this makes my hair feel so thick, super, super thick, which I really, really love. Um, the only thing is I thought I heard someone say you should apply this kind of on the mid shaft and ends of your hair, but if it's a thickifier and it adds body and volume, I don't know why you wouldn't want it up here at your roots. So I've kind of lightly worked it into my roots a little bit, but that is mostly what I like it for. It says the energizer, it gives life to limp hair, and I feel like that's true too. It really does just give my hair a lot of volume and movement, and it just makes it feel super thick. So it's really, really awesome. 
Um, the stylizing part is it's like for defining, separating, and controlling. So you could kind of do a more PC look with this. Um, using this as like a, like a stylizing like paste or something like that. But I really like this, um, especially if you think your hair is feeling kind of thin or you just feel like you really need some body. I would use this once in a while because like I said, I think it does dry my hair out a little bit, but I just use it here and there. I don't use it all the time. So there is that one. And then this one, I'm going to apologize for how gross this one is, but it is the Big Sexy Hair What a Tease Back Home in a Bottle. Mine looks disgusting because I've had it for so long and it's just this little can of hairspray. And you're kind of like, well, how is that going to last that long? How is this going to be that great? This is amazing. I love this. I will always have this. Um, I used to back comb my hair a ton in cosmetology school. I don't do it as much now just because it's another hair health issue. I'm, you know, trying to not cause a lot of breakage or damage with my hair. But when I do, this is what I use. Um, because it's, it's hard to believe, but this, it really does. Like you just tease a little bit and it, your hair is sticking straight out of your head after you spray this. I can't really explain it, but it's, it's like you just tease a little bit and then you spray this and it like amplifies it by like 10. It just, I don't know, something about it is kind of magical because like I said, you just tease a little bit and it doesn't look like much volume at all. And then you spray this and it's like, boom, big Jersey hair. Like it's really, really awesome. So I really do like this, especially if you tease your hair a lot, I would recommend trying this. Um, if you don't tease your hair a lot, this isn't a necessity, but it's something that I keep around as like a special occasion product because I don't tease my hair as much anymore, but when I do, I reach for this. So, um, one other like kind of styling product I want to talk about is my Batiste Dry Shampoo. I went through numerous cans of this and I still think this is probably my all-time favorite dry shampoo. My only complaint is that obviously when I get ones like this and I spray it, I have like that like white residue thing. I can get the dark brown one and I do like the dark brown one, but I also feel like it doesn't work as well as these ones do, the regular just Batiste ones. So I really do love this. It doesn't always give my hair a lot of volume. I feel like today it gave it a decent amount of volume. It's not too flat, um, but yeah works really really nicely so I do like that and then kind of for shampoo and conditioners I don't have them up here right now but I've talked about it before my Joyco moisture recovery mask I I love um, if your hair is dry and use that you will see a difference it's one of those products that you use it once or twice and you definitely see dramatic results with your hair it definitely feels better it looks better but it's definitely something I would only use once a week. Um, I know on the bottle it does say it's for thick, coarse hair, but I have really fine hair and I've never had a problem with it weighing my hair down. But I'm also not one of those people that overuses it. Um, like I said, I only use it once or twice a week. And I don't leave it on for, I think 15 minutes is the longest I've ever left it on. Uh, I know some people will like sleep with their masks in and I think that that's, that's really, that's fine. But I think for me that would be, that was where it would get too heavy. So... Um, for shampoo and conditioner, I've talked to you guys before about the bedhead recovery. I really like that, but me and my stylist were talking and she kind of thinks that maybe it's just coating my hair and making it feel like it's getting moisturized and like it's nice and that maybe it's not doing as much. So that one will definitely make your hair feel nice, but I don't think it's really going to help with the health maybe. Um, and then Redken All Soft is the other one that I really wanted to talk to you guys about. I bought that in a set and I used it and I really didn't think anything of it. Um, <laughs> just thought it was like an okay shampoo and conditioner. It smelled a little bit like baby powder, which really was not my favorite scent. Um, I mean, it's nice and clean, I guess, but I don't know. I like perfume. I like floral stuff. I like fruity stuff. So the baby powder was like, eh, and I just, I didn't think anything of it. But like I said, this last winter I have had dandruff and for the last three weeks or so I've been using the Redken All Soft just in a row. I haven't used anything else besides I think once or twice I used, I used my Aveeno has a uh, dandruff shampoo and conditioner that looks like this but it's blue and I've used that and then I would use like my Joyco 
moisture mask and I think that's the only other thing I've used in the last couple of weeks and I've noticed my dandruff is completely gone. Um, it is definitely not an issue anymore and I'm kind of contributing it more to the All Soft because that is what I use all the time but I definitely think the Aveeno dandruff one is probably helping a little bit too. Um, and the dandruff one from Aveeno I really like because I believe it's, I want to say it's sulfate free. Um, but I also like it because it's not like your typical dandruff shampoo and conditioner. It, I don't know, it doesn't make my hair feel so, super like stripped. It doesn't do anything for the color. It doesn't like, you know, make me lose my color or anything. It doesn't have the typical dandruff shampoo and conditioner smell. So I actually really do like the Aveeno dandruff shampoo and conditioner too. But I just wanted to give the All Shot, uh, All Soft a little bit of a shout out too because I think that it really has helped with my dandruff and my dry scalp. And yeah, so... That is it for my kind of favorite hair products, um, and I will kind of keep you guys updated on if there's anything else I find that I really love or I feel like is really helping with the health of my hair. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments because, like I said, I I want to go lighter. I'm resisting the urge of going blonde. Uh, it happens every spring and summer. I want to go blonde because I, I love having my dark hair. Um, I feel like it makes my eye color stand out more. But it gets really, really annoying not, like, having to fill in my eyebrows all the time. Because my eyebrows are so super blonde that if I don't, it literally looks like I have no eyebrows. So, I always have to fill them in, especially when I have my dark hair, which is kind of why I reach for, like, things like the Benefit Gimme Brow. But, I don't know, I get tired of it and I try to switch it up and, you know, to go from dark to really light is not super easy. So, alright, I'm going to quit rambling and I will see you guys next time. Bye.